you know what? You got a lot going on. Uh, you mentioned my hair a second ago, I think, when uh, we recorded. I did. I got a home haircut. Let me see your How's your hair coming in? Oh, dude, it's, it's fire. It's so good right now. <laughs> I love it. It's good. It's personality. Yeah, my fiance actually cut it. A hairstylist, by the way. She is a speech pathologist, so she's actually like on the front lines every <laughs> single day. Um, but here's, here's the bad side of it. I know in, in case you're thinking about having this happen within your home. She's become a monster with it. She ordered shears. She's been cutting her friends like hair at work now. She watched YouTube tutorials. So it's like uh -oh. a whole side hustle now. So Dang. just be ready. Dang, be ready. Dude. She's starting that, yeah. Side hustle, quarantined haircuts. That's got, got to be a bit. Doing social free, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's doing it for free, so it didn't really benefit. Um, <laughs> oh, but I'll, if you need a haircut, I'll, we'll, I'll send her over and see if she can do it. Yeah, dude. Oh man, you do music video out, you're having a kid, you're like this big famous TikTok creator now. <laughs> you're, one my, you're one of my favorite people on TikTok. Oh dude, I love it. I love just how how quick they are and like, like it fits my personality and I just love just throwing up stupid stuff. I'm not I'm not afraid. And so TikTok is perfect for that. Yeah, it's like a whole new form of creativity too. Do you know that you have uh, there's fake Russell Dickerson TikTok accounts? There is? Yeah, I got I got catfished today by no way that, yes it was so the, I, I wrote it down too it's russell uh dickerson is there's a fake tiktok account catfishing people out there their content's not up to your par man are you gonna look it up right now they are so i don't know if they because they requested me as a friend and it was after i liked a, a video of yours uh people do that all the time like they'll be like they'll like message my my fans and like ask for money or like it's just it's stupid man do you ever reach They're out like, personally to them to no i just i have a, i have a team that like kind of watches that and they'll they they report it and get the accounts removed like that's super scary yeah dude it's like even just like sending like inappropriate stuff like i never want i would obviously it's never do, you, right? do that yeah and so it's just like it's just sketchy yeah, they, I and they're also if they're like Russell's asking me for money. I wonder if like the music thing must not be working out. Yeah, really like, well. These platinum records aren't paying much <laughs> these days, I guess. Man, these these are going well. Uh, I like that. Yeah, I mean the creativity's fun. You you're gonna be coming. Today's coming up, which is an interesting time. Uh, are you are you doing anything for Mother's Day? Has your percep how how has your perception of Mother's Day changed since now that you are gonna be a dad? Dude, I mean. On, I, I haven't really had a lot of time to think about the Mother's Day because my birthday was yesterday. Our anniversary was two days before that. And so it's just like, it's a whole <laughs> a week long on. celebration, man. It's just like, it's going to be crazy. I mean, we're, yeah. we're obviously hanging out with my mom and Kaylee's mom and hopefully my grandmother. But it's like, this year is the first year that she is mom. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. So it's got to change because when you think about Mother's Day too, you always kind of think about your mom yeah. um and now and now you kind of think about what what do you think the biggest difference is like mother's day for you now that it's not just about your mom it's also about your your wife yeah. like that's a totally different Dude, world I, I, yeah i've got to like flip that switch in my brain that's crazy um yeah, <laughs> yeah no really yeah i'm like oh yeah you're right she's gonna be a mom yeah that's are you ready to be a dad you feel ready to go dude i'm so ready i can walk <laughs> i've got the i've got the outfits ready i've got carhartt overalls for fun it, boy or girl you can wear carhartt overalls day day in and day out yeah what are you yeah, are, are you nervous about anything it's about the exhaustion factor mm -hmm. like how i'm like road and right. so it like is it going to be easy for us i don't yeah, know yeah i thought you might be prepared what, for that. i don't know that kind of thing. i think i think we're going to crush it as parents but there's always that nervousness of like, like are we going to be like ridiculously hard we have no idea do you um do you feel like the balance is a really cool interesting point in your career where you've had a lot of success but you still you and maybe it's just my opinion you still have a lot of success mm -hmm. to come so the work is still there um, does that make you nervous at all about trying yeah, to balance absolutely. all that stuff? And I'm sure I get, and, I get very career focused and 
driven and nothing's going to stop me. Nothing's going to get in my way. But I also yeah. want to be, I want to crush it as a dad. I want to be the best dad there has ever been. So like, I have to, I, yeah, I can, I can kind of like make my own self nervous, I guess, you know, yeah. of like, I want to be the best dad, but I also want to continue to be the best country artist that I possibly can. So yeah, yeah I'm a little, little, little uh, nervous about balancing that. Are there any, um, who, anyone you kind of like look to for that kind of stuff? Any, any other people in the industry that are dads that you're like, hey, <laughs> uh, either you're going to follow what they've done already or ask for advice on that stuff? I mean, two, two of my best friends are, are Thomas Rhett and Tyler Hubbard. And so they did a little drive by for my birthday yesterday. And cool. uh, we were just talking about fatherhood and how how this time we have right now is so crazy amazing to to share this time with our with our families and like we would ever take three months off in the middle of the biggest touring season of the year you know ever again so we were just talking about that and so i've i've, I've toured with both of them uh enough to kind of see how they live their life and we're close enough and to to know how they handle being on the road with children yeah. and do they bring help do they not do they you know and so i've i've really learned a lot of of how to handle children on the road and even with kane brown um the few the few before they got cut off just seeing how how him and his wife kate handle everything on the road was really awesome to watch that's cool man and the new music the the music video it's, it's uh it's so fun to watch it and there's so much emotion behind it so congratulations yeah, on, on putting you. that Thank out you. my um and uh, my wife directed that yeah i read that that's so cool that you that you're working that you guys can still work together on those kind of things because she does she's done a lot of that stuff though for you right yeah man she's always been involved i call right. her the my my head of creative anything anything visual anything video pictures like she She's the queen of that. And so um, it's got to make it through her before it reaches the internet. Yeah, I love that. It's good to have that person in your corner. Well, I'm excited for you to, to experience dad life. It, I, it could be a blessing that you aren't going to be able to go on the road and tour um, in this time too, because then you can really, you can crush it in both. And so then you get to be there as a dad. So Exactly, man. It, it, regardless of you know all the shows canceled and financially whatever it's like we get to be home soak up the last few months of being just us before we bring a baby yeah. into the world and our lives are rocked just keep us posted we're excited for you and the, and uh and the baby and next time you're able to come through chicago um let's get in come bring the yeah. baby i want to watch you be a dad more than i want to see you perform yeah. almost cool <laughs> All right, man. Hey, congrats to you too, buddy. Thanks for thank you. Thanks for taking the time, man. All right, keep making the TikToks. I'll see you on there. All right, bro. <laughs> see you. Dude.